Hello aspirants and welcome to Geology Concepts. Yesterday, that is on 14th of September, UPSC has published the online detailed application form for the upcoming Combined Geoscientist 2023 interview. As promised previously, in today's video, we are going to provide you with a comprehensive guide on how to fill up the detailed application form or the DAF. And this guide will help you to navigate the process smoothly and ensure you submit all the necessary documents correctly on time. So let's begin. The first step is to upload the certificate of age. The commission as accepts the date of birth mentioned in your matriculation or equivalent certificates. However, there are certain things you need to know. Please ensure that the date of birth accurately matches that of the certificate that you are uploading. This is very important as it is clearly mentioned that any discrepancies in regards to the date of birth may attract disqualification of the candidate. Also, if your date of birth is not mentioned in your HSC documents or is incompletely mentioned, then you need to upload a certificate from your school's headmaster or principal showing the date of birth or the exact age as recorded in the admission, admission register of the institution. Right. Next, you will need to upload your educational certificates, uh, that is the educational qualification certificates. And this should match the qualification specified in the CGSE 2023 notification itself. So you need to check the notification again. And use the certificates issued by the awarding authority, for example, of your university or the examining, examining body. Right. Now for the candidates who belong to SC, ST and OBC or EWS categories, ensure that you upload the correct caste certificate from a designated authority as specified in the instruction manual. Ensure that the caste name in the certificate matches that uh, that of the one published in the central government's list, right? And for the EWS candidates, you need to provide an income and asset certificates for the specified financial year. In this case, for the financial year 2021 to 2022, by the closing date of the application. This is important because if you have already claimed the EWS status uh, while filling up the application form, then the date of issue of the EWS certificate must be before the closing date uh, of the application, which was 11th of October 2022. Right. So cross check this again before filling up the form. And for the PWBD uh, candidates and serving government employees, there are specific format of the undertaking that needs to be filled and uploaded. Right. Now, the next step is to fill your online DAF. So, there will be various sections such as your personal details, detail and background of your parents, your educational qualification, achievements and extracurriculars, hobbies, service preference if you qualify for both geologist and ideologist post, and the um, undertaking or the declaration, right? And you need to upload the scanned PDF files of the relevant documents as per the instructions. And you need to ensure that these PDF files that you are uploading, they are not password protected. Right. And remember that the information that you provide in your DAV will be cross-checked with the details provided in the initial application form when you apply for the post itself. So please fill every section with utmost priority and once submitted, changes in community status won't be allowed. So before submission, review all the information and documents for accuracy. Right. Now, during the interview stage, the duly signed copy of the online detail application form and the original copies of the listed uh, certificates will be required for the verification. So keep them handy always. Self-certified copies of all the documents should also be provided at that time. And also there, there are questions uh, about if you need to send the documents uh, to clarify that you don't need to any uh, do you need you don't need to send any document by post. All the submission had to be done online through the official website itself, right? Now, while filling up the DAF, please remember certain key aspects. Always be truthful about your skills, experiences and achievements. For example, if you are not a bookworm, don't claim to be one just to impress the board. It will only pass a negative impression to the interview panel. So don't fake anything. You need to be pre uh, prepared to discuss and defend whatever you have written in your DAF. For example, if you claim to be a problem solver, then you need to share a situation where you have showcased this skill. right? Also, you need to be prepared to explain why you have certain interest or skills. For example, if you mention leadership in your DAV, you also need to mention how it developed during your role as a team captain or a field group leader or in any real time situation. Right. And also, you need to describe your personality traits very honestly to the interviewer board. And 
be clear in expressing your thoughts in your description while you feel of your uh, dev for example if you are detail oriented then you need to describe how it benefits your work actually and lastly to avoid uh, you need to avoid your information overload and keep your responses very concise right the major idea is to convey your personality to the interviewer so for that instead of lengthy paragraphs citing in lengthy paragraphs you can use bullet points to list your key qualities right so and there you have it our comprehensive guide to filling out the detailed application form for the CGSE 2023 interview with the deadline till uh, 25th of uh, this month you have ample of time to create a compelling and genuine self description right and remember the key takeaways from this uh, particular video is that you need to be uh, honest you have to be uh, your answers have to be specific and they must be showcased with a clarity and be accountable for whatever you are writing and be ready to defend them think deeply about the rationale behind your responses and showcase your self awareness in the daf itself so take your time follow the instruction meticulously and submit your daf and after that if you want to brush up on your um, interview skills please consider joining our interview preparation program where we will guide you at each and every step starting from questions from your daf to enhancing your presentation skills we wish you all the best in your interview journey thank you for tuning in and i'll see you in the next one